We are beginning tonight in Salinas, where there is an effort to unionize the homeless. More than 30 members of the homeless community and supporters met today in Chinatown to commemorate the Martin Luther King Jr. holiday and talk about the formation of a homeless union. They want to use it to negotiate with the city. Action News reporter Bryn Whitaker has details live right now. Dan, the group used Martin Luther King Jr. Day as a jumping off point to talk about homeless issues. They even noted that one of MLK, MLK's goals was to end poverty, and they think that he would have stood with them today. We're celebrating Dr. King's birthday by making a commitment to organize to accomplish uh, the dream for which he stood. Attorney Anthony Prince, along with Councilman Jose Castaneda, are leaders in the movement to start a union for homeless people in Salinas. Castaneda says the group is working with the National Union of the Homeless to open up an office in Salinas's Chinatown area. It's just one of the things many people were demanding at the MLK rally. Being a union, believing in yourself, getting behind each other and stuff. We are, hope very soon going to have our own union office down there to help the people. We're hoping to really get the community's help. This is the same group of people that filed a federal lawsuit against the city for its new ordinance that allows the city to remove bulky property like tents found in large homeless encampments. The city has put a hold on enforcing that ordinance until its March 3rd court date. And thanks to a resolution passed by the city in December, it's now allowing people to set up camp on public property from 6 in the evening till 6 in the morning as long as they move their stuff by 6 a.m. But that's not enough for the Salinas home coalition they want the right to camp on public streets during the day too. What we have not yet resolved and we hope to resolve is the issue of what will happen during the day. The new ordinance is just one of the reasons homeless people are hoping for an organized union. There's issues, of course there's issues, but they should be addressed and there should be somebody um, like you say in charge of addressing those issues. Now, Castaneda says they're in the very early stages of forming this union. They would need an official designation from the National Union of the Homeless. And now the founders from the National Union of the Homeless, they are set to come to Salinas very soon and speak with Castaneda. Dan. All right. Thanks very much, Bryn. The city, meantime, says it will suspend the sweeps and confiscation of personal belongings of the homeless until March the 3rd, the day that the city heads to federal court for a preliminary hearing.